and welcome back to Time for Tales. I'm Miss Corinne and I'm so glad that you've joined me today for a time of songs and stories here at the Avondale Library. Well, there has been all sorts of fun summer learning going on and summer reading and summer playing. And one of the things I love about playing outside in the summer is mm, the sun. It's so warm, it feels like a great big hug. I thought that today we could imagine a story about the sun. But first, before we imagine a story, you know what we need to do. We need to sing our song. Aesop's fables. Aesop was a guy who wrote a lot of stories about animals and nature and they always have something to teach us. Well imagine with me friends that the Sun is having an argument with the North Wind. The North Wind thinks that he is stronger than the Sun. <gasps> Look at me blow, he says. I am the strongest of them all. But the sun shone and she said, no, I'm definitely stronger. Look at how my rays reach to the earth and it makes things grow. And the wind said, but I can blow them over. And so they argued. The sun thought she was stronger and the wind thought that he was stronger. How were they ever going to figure out who was stronger? They couldn't agree. Well, finally the wind said, we're going to have to find somebody who can prove that I am the strongest. And the sun said, that sounds like a good idea. And they looked down on the earth and they saw a man traveling on a road and the man was wearing a heavy cloak and the wind said that man right there how about whoever gets his cloak off is the stronger of the two and the Sun said that seems like a good idea I think it will definitely prove who's the stronger one you go first so the wind blew, and the wind blew, the north wind blew all that he had onto the traveler, and the traveler oh, began to get cold because the north wind's breezes are icy cold, and they're bitter, and they cut right to the bone, and Oh, oh, oh. The traveler was so cold that he clutched his cloak around him and he pulled his hood over his head and he bent against the wind to try to avoid it. Oh. But he couldn't get the cloak off of the traveler. No matter how hard the north wind blew. The traveler just pulled the cloak around tighter and tighter. 
until finally the north wind blew himself out. I cannot blow anymore. Nothing can get the cloak off of that traveler. <sighs> and the sun said, okay, it's my turn. And she began to shine. She shone her warm, radiant rays of sun down onto the road where the traveler walked. And he began to let go of his cloak a little bit. He stopped clutching it around him. He even took off his hood as he felt the warm rays of the sun beat down on him. And the sun shone and she kept shining with her radiant rays shining down onto the traveler on the road below. And he began to fan himself. Whew. And he finally took off his cloak. The sun was too warm. He took off his cloak and he threw himself under the shade of a tree oh, to get away from the warm rays of the sun. And the sun said, hmm, well, now I guess we see that a little bit of warmth is stronger than a whole lot of windy bluster." the end. So in the end, who proved to be stronger, the north wind or the sun? That's right, it was the sun. Well, how did the north wind try to get the cloak off of the traveler? That's right, he, he blew and he blew really hard and he made a whole lot of noise and and he tried to rip the cloak right off of the traveler. Did that work? No, it didn't. But what about the sun? The sun shone her warm, warm rays. And that warmth was stronger by far than the anger of the wind. I really like that story. It reminds me of a song. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when the skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. for coming today and for enjoying songs and a story with me. I can't wait to see you next Thursday morning for another Time for Tales.